On today's video we're going to be completing a 5mm butt weld. The first thing that we did was leave a gap of 1.6mm and tack up our material and then double check to make sure the gap was the same size throughout the joint. In order to achieve the correct results what we're going to be using is a 15 degree torch angle and we're going to be using 17 volts for our first pass. So we're going to do this in two passes on carbon steel. What you can see on screen now is what we're trying to achieve with this first pass. So essentially this is a top view of what's actually happening underneath. So this is the, called the route run. In order to achieve a consistent route you will have to move at a consistent travel speed. If your travel speed is too fast you won't penetrate through the material or your route will be too thin and be very inconsistent throughout. On the other hand if you move too slow your route will be too thick and could put too much excess welded material on the other side of the plate. Key takeaways from this first run is to ensure that you're consistent throughout, to ensure that your root is the correct size underneath and also the top layer before you go on to the capping run is consistent throughout. If it wasn't consistent you would find it much harder to cap this joint. As you can see now we've got a smooth transition all throughout the joint when we're capping. So we turned our volts up to 19 volts for the capping run and we turned our wire speed up to 5.5 meters per minute. However, we've got a nice smooth surface to walk across and we can also see the lines down both sides to ensure that we're straight throughout. If you fancy trying something a bit more challenging, click the horizontal 2G MIG welding video you can see on the screen now, as this is the next video for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you shortly.